Thank you, Chairman. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm Master from the Navy Force Company. And all my colleagues are so pleased to be here to present our first uh, in-human clinical study data and the device we designed for the BBB opening. Yeah, let me introduce the NIFOS uh, a little bit. NIFOS is, is a new company, a new startup company, well established in from the 2015. It based in Taipei, Taiwan. And all the core technology were developed by Dr. Liu, Liu Haoli from Chang'e University in Taiwan. And I think everybody knows that the BV could be opened by the uh, fast energy and the contrast and it's a bicycle bubble. And we use the same technology to design our devices and do the clinical studies here. Um, but for one, uh, two major clinical uh, challenges we need to overcome is uh, how to uh, guide or steer the, the ultrasound to the places you want to. And the second one is that the ultrasound need to cover sufficient large area so the, the, the brain tumor could be killed um, in, the near, in, the, in the future. And here is the device we developed for the, for, to overcome these two technologies. First of all, we use the optical, uh, optical checking system and the plus the commercial launch, the navigator, uh, to guide the uh, fast energy helmet. So the surgeon could easily to manually move the, the helmet to the target he planned before and uh, focus uh, on the patient's head. And uh, it is convenient for the patients to do the multi course administration because we don't need any MRI machines to do it. And then the third is the, the operation time is very short. It could last in 60 minutes. And the second technology is that we use the software and uh, hardware to uh, highly shift the, the energy from one cylinder to the multi cylinder so it can form the uh, cylinder cubic 20 times 15. And it can really help us to enlarge the, the area to cover the brain tumors. And here is, uh, we, we start our first clinical studies in this year. And there's two major objectives for these clinical studies. The first one is to try to, uh, to check the, the safety of the BBB opening to the patients with uh, recurrent GBM. And the second one that we want to find out the, the tolerated uh, ultra ultrasound dosage to these patients. So the whole clinical study did not combine any drugs, it just used the false. And because we want to check the, the tolerance of the, of the uh, of the ultrasound. So we include six patients in the group. And each group uh, we use uh, two patients with the low dosage, medium dosage, and the high dosage. Once we find uh, the patients without any adversity effect and the BB is open, and then we will move to the second stage. And here's the flow chart for the, pa uh, for the clinical studies. All these patients are recurrent GBM patients, so they will do the debacling surgery uh, 10 or 7 days after we do the first treatment. And during the first treatment, we collect all the DCMI information on the day 0, day 1, day 2, and day 7 to check that the BBB is open and uh, there's no other adverse effect. And here is our first patients. Uh, we received our first patients in, uh, in the August. And uh, uh, patient, uh, surgeons just do the, all the preclinical, uh, pre-surgery uh, pre uh, pre plannings and use those uh, MRI and CV information. And once it confirmed, and they will do uh, saving the software and we will do the surgery on the next day. And this is our patients. So the patient just sit on the chair and the uh, patient and surgeons just move the, the ultrasound the guide and by the software he planned the day before yesterday. And once he confirmed, he just push the button and they send out the fast energy to the patients. And it should be within five minutes. And this is the data we collect for the first patient. All the, uh, all the data shows that the BB BB was opened after half an hour of the surgery and it closed 24 hours later. And the SWI shows no adverse effect to it. And so is the k chance data shows the positive uh, supported data for the BBB opening. And here's our second patients. So we collect uh, the same patients on the, uh, a week after. And uh, this is the data also show that uh, the the BBB was opened after half an hour of the after the fast and uh, 24 hours closed uh, after the treatment. 
So currently, uh, we moved to all, all the all the two list two patients were, were reviewed by the DSMB members and find no other AE. So we moved to the second group uh, to increase the level uh, energy level of it. We hope the uh, list two uh, clinical studies will could be finished within these two months. And here's my report. Thanks. Questions. Are you uh, doing any cavitation monitoring during the treatment? Uh, no. <laughs> you think that's a good idea? Uh, we, will, we will add that for the next slide. Yeah. What, what frequency is your ultrasound? Uh, what, what frequency? Frequency? Uh, it's uh, 500 kilometers. 500 kilometers. Yeah. Mm. Well, thanks. Thank you. <laughs>